In this video, we'll be looking into the input enhancement and string matching that is, uh, we'll be dealing about horsepool algorithm. So horsepool algorithm is a pattern matching technique that, Im that involves the efficiency of searching for a, a substring within a text by utilizing right to left comparison approach and along with that we'll be having pre-computed shift values that is pre-processing is done here. So our goal is to find pattern P in text T. So size of pattern B M characters and size of text B N characters. So we make use of shift table here for all characters on pattern length basis. So before moving on we have several uh, like four rules which need to be followed for shifting the values. So the first rule says that in text uh, text uh, string I have some values and in pattern I have some values. So I always I need to start comparing from right to left, right? So here I have here I have pattern as apple and text as m m here. So from e I should start comparing. I'll check if this string and this string is uh, are same or not. E and m are not same. Check if m is occurring in any of the LHS part from uh, L, P, P, A, check if M is occurring anywhere. No, M is not occurring anywhere. So in this condition, you can leave that many bits of space and then start it from the next uh, position. Okay, I hope you understood this part. A, P, P, L, E, at this position, there was no element, there was no element which matched M here. So in this case, I'll write the entire pattern from the next position onwards. So this was for the case one. Speaking of the second condition, again we have written text string comprising of some letters and then we have uh, the pattern as APPLE and we have written P here and E is there here. P and E are not matching, yes, but then the shift should align to the rightmost occurrence of P in this pattern. So I will check, uh, L, no it doesn't match but P matches here. So in order to get this P here, I need to perform 1 and 2. Two shifts need to be done. So after two shifts, I'll get A, P, P and the left, rightmost P will be aligned with the text P here. So that was the second condition. Okay. So if it is not matching, I'll check for uh, in the RHS, in the uh, LHS side, this side. Okay. Leftmost. So whichever matches P, this P comes first, right? So how many times it should shift? It should shift two times. So here I have put two dots that is two shifting will happen here Anta. So it shifted two times and P, P are aligned now. So this was the second case. Third case I have some value here and P is apple here. So E is matching, L is matching but M and P are not matching here. So in order to uh, M and P are not matching fine that is the first problem. So now I'll start checking if M is occurring in the pattern text. Can we see M occurring here? No, M is not occurring here anywhere. So this situation is similar to the case one, but then the pattern should be shifted by the entire pattern's length M. So here also we are shifting by uh, M uh, places and here also we'll be shifting by M places. Coming to the fourth condition here, that is uh, we have some value, we have text values here and then bottom we have the uh, the pattern values here. So R are matching, yes. E is matching, but then X and B are not matching. Now I'll check if X is present here. No, X is not present there anywhere. So what will I do? I will start shifting. But how many times should I shift? So in this case, this is similar to the case 2. But then here the rightmost occurrence of, uh, of the string uh, among the first M minus 1 characters uh, in the pattern should be aligned with the text. So that means uh, here I have R, right? So I'll I'll make sure that this R and this R are aligned. So I'll get this R here. That is, I have to shift 1, 2, 3. 3 times if I shift, this R will come uh, aligned to this uh, R here. So this was my fourth condition. Now I'll look into the a problem. So here I have shift value that is T of C. It will be equal to the pattern's length M. If C is not among the first M minus 1 characters of pattern. So this is what we have discussed in case 3 and case 1. Then the distance from rightmost C among the first M minus 1 characters of pattern to its last character if not. 
so that is in the second condition in the fourth condition here we have an example also t value j i m under slash saw underscore saw me underscore in a barber shop so pattern i have here is barber so i need to deduce the shift table how will i write the shift table so i have b a r b e r here right so leaving the rightmost element i should start uh, filling the values assigning the values numbers to the all the uh, remaining elements so it will be 1 for e for b it will be 2 for r it will be 3 for a it will be 4 and for b again it will be 2 itself and what about rest of the values so rest values would take the position would take the length of p pattern that is length of this pattern is 6 right so except r e b a rest all elements will take uh, rest all characters or alphabets will take the value of 6 here that is this shift table will tell us about the number of shifts which need to be performed when we are comparing two values okay so here i'll start with um so let me start with the first uh, j here i i should start from Uh, rightmost side right so i'll compare a and r a and r are same no they are not same okay now i'll check if this a is present in any of the p characters so i have a here but then after how many points 1 2 3 4 a is present after four shifts so i need to shift it four times so it will be 1 2 3 a a aligned in the same position okay this is done now i should look again from the rightmost side i'll check if e and r are same no e and r are not same next i'll check if this e is present in my barber in my pattern yes e is present in my pattern so i need to shift with accord for e the value is 1 so i should shift once so if i shift once e will come here e and e are aligned here okay fine now i have r here now i need to start checking for r r and underscore no they don't match when they don't match anything beside uh, aside anything except r e b a if i have in the text script i should shift six positions so from here i'll shift 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 after shifting six positions it will be aligned i and b will be aligned here and on this side i have b and r so i'll check i'll compare b and r b and r are not same okay then i'll check if b is occurring in my pattern yes b is occurring at this position for b how many shifts should i do two shifts so i'll be shifting two times after shifting two times um b and b would be aligned here next i have uh, here i have uh, r here r and r are same okay then i have a and e here a and e are not same but then i will check if a is occurring in my pattern so a is occurring here for a i should do four shifts so i'll do four shifts here 1 2 3 so when i do four shifts uh when i do okay here i have done three shifts so yeah when i do three shifts uh, it will be aligned b and b would be aligned a and a would be aligned r would be aligned b would be aligned e would be aligned again r would be aligned so this implies that i have found my required pattern in the text so this was about the uh, uh, a problem related to a uh, horse pool algorithm now we'll look into the algorithm part so in algorithm we majorly have two parts one is how to write the shift table and the other one is horse pool matching the actual one so to write the algorithm for shift table i'll be considering the pattern here of m characters so for i is equal to 0 to size minus 1 do table of i is equal to m updating the values then j is equal to 0 to m minus 2 do table of p of j is equal to m minus 1 minus j so besides m i need to subtract the minus 1 because here i am taking if if the value is 6 it will be reduced to 5 uh, because i am starting from 0 right so minus 1 and minus j also here okay so after that i uh, i'll be returning the table value so from this table value only we'll be able to solve the algorithm further so i'm taking pattern and the text here so shift table 
uh, this operation would be performed after this i'll be obtaining the table values so i'll be obtaining the table values from those table values only i'll be performing all the operations further so i is equal to m minus 1 yes uh, 1 less than the uh, m characters because here we have uh, ignored the first r uh, the rightmost value right so that is what implies here i is greater than equal to n minus 1 do i uh, i'll be aligning it with uh, checking if these two are same greater than i is greater than n minus 1 i is less sorry i i is equal to m minus 1 next i'll be checking for i should be less than or equal to n minus 1 do i'll be taking k value as 0 i'll be comparing if k is less than or equal to m minus 1 and uh, the pattern with uh, index position of m minus 1 minus k should be equal to the text uh, index position that is i minus k if this condition is satisfied i'll increment the k value and if k is equal to m i should return i minus 1 uh, i minus m plus 1 else i should increment the table value and finally if this fails i should return minus 1 so this was about the algorithm so instead of um, like emphasizing on the algorithm i would say if you understand this part like in which position which case is being applied it will be very easy to understand this particular topic writing the analysis worst case analysis we need to iterate so for this if it is pattern text is m text is n and pattern is m so i need to iterate um, n into m n into m uh, m times i need to iterate in order to um, get the in order to check if my required uh, uh, pattern is present in the text or not so this was about the horsepool algorithm if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you